Hi everyone. So I'm going to make a remote power logger for a photovoltaic module setup. And so what I'm going to need is an INA293 current and voltmeter, a SD card read and writer, an OLED screen for calibration, and all of this is going to be running through an ESP32 which is also going to be logging everything onto a website. So I'll put that all together and we'll see how that goes. Thank you. Hi everyone. So I need to connect this ESP32 to the breadboard. The only thing, it's a little bit too wide for these rails to fit on very comfortably. So what I've got here, I've got two breadboards and I just can take the side rail off one, which will come in handy for later projects and I can connect these two together. They just click in and then I can stick the ESP32 in like that. Thank you. So I've got everything connected up on the breadboard now. So here's the ESP32 connected up and running. Um, the INA219, the current and voltage meter and the OLED screen, they're both connected to the I2C bus. And then I've got the SD card reader over here, which is connected to the SPI bus and um, we'll just have a little bit of a closer look at that so there's the SD card reader there and I was using one of these before but I found this to be a little bit unreliable um, it kept on restarting and it wasn't re uh, the SP32 kept on restarting so I didn't really um, know what the issue was with that but I replaced it with this one which was a bit cheaper although not as nice looking and it seems to be a little bit more reliable and then on the OLED screen, I'm printing out the voltage, the current, the milliwatt, the milliwatts, and also the IP address of the ESP32. So I can just log on to the, the network, to a computer that's connected to the same network, and I can have a look at the results um, of, the, of the power meter. And I'll show you how that works next. Okay, thank you very much. Hi everyone. So I've got the remote power logger connected to a network and I'm just outputting the results to a web page and I've, I've just borrowed some code to run this off random nerd tutorials. And so it's just basically I've got the voltage here and then I've got the current here from the, from the power logger and this this kind of saves me from having, like if I've got it connected to a solar cell or something, it saves me from having to go outside and check it or to climb on the roof and check it if I've got it connected there. So it's much easier if I can check it remotely. And if I want to have a look, and it's all, as well, it's all being output to a file, which is on the SD card. And if I want to have a look at the results of the file, I can just click on this get results and this will, this will hopefully bring up all the results of the file. Um, there it goes. So these are all the, these are all the, all the file, all the readings that we've taken and we're taking them every 10 seconds. And then I've, I've got it all plotted here. Every 10 seconds it's coming online. So this will make it much easier for me if I want to monitor something all day and it's up on the roof. And so all the code for this, I uh, put on GitHub and I'll link that in the description. And let me know if you've got any questions or in the comments below. Thank you.